hey, you want to know how to make a gaming video on YouTube? You want to know? Yeah. Listen to Sass. Yeah. <laughs>
I bought it for about $25 Australian or $14, $15 USD. The size that I got is 142 centimeters, which is 56 inches. And I thought that covers the background nicely. It actually folds into a really nice compact circle. So you can see here and it velcros onto the back of the chair. So you don't need a stand or anything for it. And it comes with a little bag as well. If you play it on the Nintendo Switch like I do and you want to record the gameplay, then you'll need a video capture card. I bought this off Amazon for around $20 Australian, which is around $12, $13 USD. You'll need to connect it to your computer. Just make sure that if you use the USB output setting on this video capture card, that your computer has a USB 3.0 input I tried to use it on 2.0 and the gameplay would not come up until I changed it to 3.0. So I learned the hard way. I spent a little while trying to figure that out. So just a little tip. If you want me to go into a little bit more detail on this, let me know. I will go through a whole Nintendo Switch setup. Let's get to editing. I'll quickly show you how I use DaVinci Resolve to edit. And I'll actually show you how I edit this video that I'm making right now. When I finished recording my video and I'm ready to edit, I'll open up a new project in DaVinci Resolve. So I have one open right now and I'm in the edit section. What I'll do is I'll drag and drop the video that I want into the timeline. I don't need partic this particular video, but that's how I would do it. I'll show you a little bit of how I edit my videos. So this is the introduction that I was going to have for, th for this particular video uh, with Pickle Rick. Hey, welcome to this video. You want to... You want to make a gaming video? <laughs> so I've noticed that the audio is a little bit muffled because I had the microphone right up to my mouth. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut the parts that I want first. Hey, welcome to this video. So I don't want this particular section because there's nothing there and there's no audio. So I'll just cut that with control B and I'll just delete it. Hey, welcome to this video. And then I'll just cut this section. And this is a section that I want. Hey, welcome to this video. I can see that it's linked to all three parts of this video. So the, the recording itself and the two audios. So the first audio is the desktop audio, which has nothing there because I didn't record any desktop audio. And this is the microphone audio. And I want to unlink this because I want to reduce the sound of the microphone audio. I'll right click it, click on link clips and that will untick this particular one. And I'll just click away. And I'll click on this audio that I want to reduce and I'll just go to volume and just put it down a little bit so you can see here it's moving up and down and I'll just give it a little bit of a listen so see if it sounds better hey welcome to this video so that sounds a lot better and it's not as loud and annoying <laughs> and I want to keep this section I'll just leave it there and put it where I want to oh that's Probably should be relinked, so I'll just link that back up again so it can go together and it's not out of sync. This video. And for the rest of it, I'll just delete it because I don't want it. And what it does when I delete it is it moves the rest of the timeline to the left. So if I delete this particular section, it will move everything to the left. And if I don't want to do that, I'll just control X. Once I feel like the video's got all the components that it needs, I'll then work on the transitions. DaVinci Resolve has a lot of video transitions that you can use. One of the main ones that I like to use is Additive Dissolve. So this blends in two different cuts of videos together. I like to use this in my gameplay when I'm moving from one place to another. I'm cutting the in-between because it's too long. So I'll just drag and drop. It's so easy. Drag and drop and put it in the place that I want to blend together. So for example, this and one. Mac. This is the OBS recording software. I'll give you a... So this is what it looks like without it. So I'll just control X that and Mac. This is the OBS recording. So a little bit harsher, but if I add that in, it sort of blends it a little bit and I can move this to make it smaller or bigger and Mac. This is the OBS recordings. They have lots of different transitions available. I can use blur instead. This is the OBS recording software. You can easily play around with these settings all day, but these are the video transitions. You can also create video effects as well. 
So for example, if you want to make your face look a little bit different in the video because you're reacting to a game, I have pre-made ones such as Big Mouth, Black and White, Rage, Shake. So for example, if I was reacting to a gameplay and I wanted the video to be a little bit dramatic, I would use one of these preset ones that I've made and it would change the way that I look in the video. Because you don't want to choose something that you can't afford. Because <laughs> you don't want to choose something that you can't. They're really, really handy and there's lots of YouTube tutorials on how to make these. Music and sounds. I don't usually need music or sounds in my videos because I usually have the gameplay and my commentary. But if I do use it, I use Mixkit, which is a royalty free website and you can download all the sounds that are free and available or music that are free and available. I'll give you a little bit of a demo of how I would use music or sounds in my videos. For this particular video, I actually want to add some music to it so it's not too boring with my voice. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go to mix kit and I'll just go to music. I'll just want something really chill like a hip hop beat or something. So I'll just write hip hop. And these ones in the green are not free or you have to sign up for it. So I usually just like to use the ones that are here and I'll just listen to a couple. So there's a lot of options on this site. Let's just say I want this one, I'll just download it. And I will save it. I'll just drag and drop in DaVinci Resolve. Let's say I have this one and I want to use it. I'll drag and drop where I want the music to start and I'll just listen to it. Hey, you wanna know how to make a gaming video? Hey, welcome to my video, my name is Sass. Today I want to show you how I make. That beat is nice. Uh, the music is a bit too loud though, so I'll turn it down so that it's just sort of background noise. Hey, you want to know how- If you see dust- Hey, welcome to my video. My name is Sass. I don't want to overpower what I say with the music, so I'll just- I'll just play around with the volume a little bit. I want to take you through five steps that I take- That's not bad. Maybe a little bit louder. And capture card. I want to take you through five steps- I want to take you through five. Okay, that's pretty good. So when I like the level of volume that I have and I want to I want to use it throughout my video, I'll just click on the sound and click on alt and then drag. It will double the clip together and I'll just keep doing that until I get to the end of my video. And that's how I'll use music. For sounds, it's the same thing. I'll just click on where I want to use the sound and I'll just drag and drop the sound that I want to use. Thumbnails. Let me show you how I would create a thumbnail for this video. So what I would usually do is I usually take a screenshot of me in a video to put in my thumbnail. So I would usually just do like a, like a, <laughs> like a normal YouTube face where I just get, or um, for this tutorial, I'll probably just smile, I guess. So it would just be, and I'll take a screenshot of that and I'll put it into Canva and I'll show you how I do that. I have the picture that I want to use in my thumbnail from my video. So what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of this. And I will save it. I'll just do one one. Let's just save that as number 11. All right, let's close out of that. I'll open up Canva. I have Canva open at the moment and I'll open up a new design and it will be a thumbnail. Canva is really good because it has preset sizes of thumbnails which you can use and also templates which you can use as well. When you sign up for Canva, it's free, but there are a few things that are only for pro and you'll have to pay a certain amount for a year and I think it's about $160 per year. So for this video I'll just see if there's a how-to template. I will probably I'll use this one and let's remove that lady from there and I'll upload my video. I'll upload my screenshot to it. Okay, so I want to remove the background and I'll just go to edit and I'll do background remover. So background remover on Canva is only available for pro. So if you want to remove your background, you can use an online tool background remover instead. So that didn't remove my background very well at 
hole. So I'll have to restore a little bit and hopefully it's not too bad. I'll just do that. That'll do. So I'm done with that. I'm missing a little bit off my clothes. Let's just cut that. make myself a little bit bigger and then I'll add some shadows to it so that I stand out a little bit from the background I'll just whoa where did that go okay that didn't remove my background properly so I will do it again I'll restore this as well now all right that will do done apply got to apply it I'll add a little bit of a glow so I stand out a little bit and we'll just adjust that to the correct size delete that and whoa that's not good gaming Gaming videos. Let me see how that looks. I usually zoom out a little bit just to see what it would look like as an actual YouTube thumbnail. So that's really good. I just want to make that a little bit bigger because the writing on my shirt is a little bit distracting. I feel like gaming videos should be in there instead of I make. So I'll go how I make. Gaming. And then videos. I want to line that up. That's better. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. Once I like it, I will just click on share and then download. And that is my thumbnail. Titles and descriptions. Let me show you some of my titles and descriptions that I use for my gameplay and what I would do for tags. I have preset titles and descriptions that I save to make it easier for me when I upload a video. So this is what it looks like. I'm used to using this now so it's not very fancy but this is where i keep my titles and descriptions so this is what i will use as my title i like to have the name of the video what the game is and then what number of the gameplay it is just so that it's helpful for people when they're searching or when they're reading the title I also like to have my playlist there as well in case anyone wants to click on it and watch the other things that I have. And then I like to have the description of the video in here. I don't usually put much in there, but I've heard that it's good to have a lot of uh, description in a video, but I just can't seem to type that much. This is where I will put my chapters. And for me to be able to determine where each chapter or each bit of my gameplay is, I like to use DaVinci Resolve and just use the timestamp from there instead of on YouTube because it takes a while to render and then I have to do it later. And then I put my socials in and then just some hashtags. I also put in the details of the game that I play in my description as well in case anyone wants to know more about it. And just some credits. Credits are usually to mix it because that's what I use in my intros and outros with the sound. And this is where my tags are. I come up with these tags from looking at other videos and their tags and what I see and also just typing in what I think is relevant for the video. And then I just copy and paste this into the tag section of my video. And that is how I do titles and descriptions. That is my process for creating a gaming video. I really, really hope it was useful for you guys to see this process. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. 
I hope to create more videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.